By state law, it's illegal for anyone under the age of 21 to have or use vaping products. But studies show Hawaii has some of the highest numbers when it comes to underage users. Kimberly Speakman has more on what's being done to change that. Kimberly. Bridget, experts say some teens try vaping because they think it's safer than smoking cigarettes. But it still has many of the same chemicals like nicotine. Some students say vaping has become a part of their daily lives, even though they aren't the ones doing it. Yeah, I see kids do it like everywhere. How often do I see it? Like every day. Every day? Like, yeah. According to a 2017 survey, 42% of high school students and 27% of middle schoolers in the state say they've tried vaping at least once. We have the second highest rate of high school kids vaping. Um, in the country. For us, it's a serious concern um, because we've brought smoking rates down low, um, but vaping rates continue to rise. Kevin Ramirez coordinates the 808 No Vape campaign across the state, discouraging the use of e cigarettes. But for some reason, e cigarettes have an appeal to, to teens that cigarettes don't. And we believe part of that, a big reason of that, is because there's so many different flavors of e-liquids, 15,000 unique flavors on the market today. Their counter campaign focuses on the risks of vaping. But there are other um, chemicals in the uh, e-liquid and in the vapor through the process of aerosolization that scientific studies have shown are not good for our lung cells, our blood cells. He also has advice for parents. Be proactive. You know, talk to your kids about about e-cigarettes and vaping. Um, even if you don't think your kid might be vaping or you don't think your kid is the type to be vaping. The 808 No Vape campaign says they're currently partnered with 22 schools to get their message out. We'll have more information on that program on our website, kh12.com. Back to you.